Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, and this is Sidmar's Civilization 3. Anyways, we've gotten our war going. I think it will be just fine. More cavalry, please, yes. And let's advance, so we can only go one square at a time, right? Uh, at least I think so. Which is, of course, incredibly slow. But that's still, um, still okay. Okay, what's, uh, I did that one, okay. Uh, Not the forest, the ruins of the city. Seems, uh, seems appropriate enough. There we go, irrigate the desert. Make food grow in odd places. At this point I can kind of see the value of having um, the agricultural trait. Not that we have that, but uh, I can see the value of it. <laughs> because of all the deserts. A lot of desert. That would be a lot of food. Oh well. Uh, we mined this one, right? Yes, we did. Uh, you're fully healed. Don't join the assault. I want one turn of bombardment. It probably won't matter, but I want it. Yeah, and in the meantime, the cities that we've occupied earlier are gonna just start into oblivion because uh, because of the riots, which is quite unfortunate. Well, could be worse, as they say, as I say. I mean, once you take Cusco, which is probably, probably what's going to happen next turn, then we should have uh, much free reign. We don't have any cities left. You're actually going to you're actually going to land units. Wow. I'm kind of impressed, to be honest. Um, well. Didn't they think they would have that? Nor did they think they would have like, units. That was a hard one battle. Thank goodness he couldn't attack directly. Because that uh, would have hurt. Uh, move this entire stack, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna move him there. I, I know that's not the defensive terrain, but it'll allow me to do a whole bunch of movement next turn. Well, once the city is, once the city falls, we'll be able to do a whole bunch of movement. That's kind of valuable too. Yeah, we have a few cavalry. Um, we have a cannon. Did seem to actually hit something, so that's good. Uh, that tile won't matter, but it will carry education onwards, I suppose. What 
more cavalry into the fray. Did I farm this? I guess I did because I have irrigation. I think I have one food there. Again, it's so difficult to see. At least to me. And that uh, bothers me. A fair bit. Um, I just think it should be easier to identify. Anyways, um... Cool, okay, um, and the Crusaders. Oh, he doesn't have more, oh, there we go. I was wondering if he didn't have anything else than Titan here. Go Crusaders. go lovely go straight into building a uh, more tiles than a temple I'm gonna stay on heal um, the stack I move in The towns are so small. At this point, just send in the cavalry. Let's see if we can quickly end this war. There is a chance. I'm not saying it's a good chance, but there's a chance. A complete non zero chance. Um, move on down here. Maybe all of your tiles improved. We've got forests everywhere. Uh, we might not have anything on that tile. Let's have a look. to have railroads and actual, you know, fast movement. <laughs> Soon enough. In one turn we can actually build ships as well. Speaking of ships, I think I'm going to send this one down this way. As much as I want to explore, I do think we need to upgrade that one into something better. Once we have our next attack here. Um, wait a moment. This whole stack can move into the town. Oh, wait, was it just you? So then, okay. Oh, I was afraid of that. Okay, that could be bad if he actually wins. Didn't. Hey, there we go. A new era for us. What is the big picture? Because now I could go into medicine right away. Um, I still need democracy. We don't need free inquiry. Definitely medicine. In 
to uh, sanitation. Um, and then I can pick up that one. <laughs> For completionist's sake. For the sake of completionism, there we go. Zoom to kiss Kuzgo. Make sure they all starve. Yeah, you make cavalry. And I can build another palace piece. Um, let's build the other wing. There's so many bits to build. And the Indians are not building the Newton's University, but I think we are far enough ahead. But it won't matter. Anyways, move that stack in here. What do I have two? I have two? I do have two. Nice. Uh, you can hold. Crusaders, just attack. Seriously, I don't care if the Crusaders die. Because they're uh, kind of throwaways. Uh, we had three Crusaders there. Um, you? And that's all of those units, so sure, now it's time to send in the cavalry. It's gonna win, yep. It was gonna win, but that's okay. But it's gonna die. Stay. Keep those there for now. And then head over the mountains. Lucky, we can end this war next turn. Um, at this point, I might as well use these as defenders. Oh, that one should have started instead and healed. Oh well. Again, I can't see if the damn thing is healed or not. Oh, that's, that bugs me. You look fully healed. As far as I know, as far as I've noticed, there's no uh, heal, wait until healed command in this uh, version of save, and that's kind of annoying. But oh well, we can manage. I hope. <laughs> Cavalries. Gotta do all the shocks and alls. Then we'll reorganize a bit, we get all our slow moving units on the southern front and everything else. The northern. I'm gonna need way I should have built way, way, way more musketmen, to be honest. But 
But, uh, could I not? Let's stay there and go on the, uh, the cannons. And you guys just uh, start attacking. Before you can suddenly upgrade. One more city conquered. Uh, just keep the worker there for now. And uh, the rest of you... Pump down this way, I guess. I don't think the chance of him counter-attacking this city is going to be uh, anywhere in the statistically ex expected areas. I mean, he would have to go by sea, and I don't think he's going to do that. Um, yeah, that tile was not irrigated. Wow, okay. Somehow I missed that tile. I do think I'm gonna build the Newtons before the Indians do, but you never know. I'm gonna need musketmen. So many musketmen. You need the bank as well, so all the musketmen in the bank. into cathedral. I'm gonna leave the cathedrals now. Um, old. I need to wake up these first. Yeah, attack here first. Strike didn't go too well. Oh, come on. Well, at least I'm not losing the cavalry units, but still. like to wipe him out but I don't have ships and that would take so long so I'm okay with uh, making a piece right now if he would take it no he won't even talk to me so that's fine um let's try heal until full button nope everybody into town I suppose I could have planned that better. I actually had some military units. Uh, speaking of, we have ships now, don't we? We have the ship tech now. Not that I need that, I just need a transport. Maybe I should just try to wipe them out. It's fine. 71 shields, that's it. that hurts. <laughs> I need that one tugboat. Um, a 
galleon can withstand, withstand a galley, right? I know galleons also aren't really uh, anything about transport ships, but... Attack of one, defense of two. That could be risky, but I'm gonna have to try it. In the meantime, all other combatants... I have to make my way down, make my way down there. All our cannons, certainly. I'm gonna move up there. I'm gonna sit here and uh, be a defender. That's. Uh, uh, so are you actually. I'm gonna move the uh, musketman over here. I want three musketmen to defend that whole stack. The worker is gonna sit there for now. Well, the war itself went pretty smoothly this time around. Well, that's good, I suppose. Um, <laughs> let's see. You're both injured. You have to sit there and wait. You guys. In. Just gonna prepare for the uh, attack against the Byzantines. We can uh, move this out. That would be great. But they have one city remaining. I suppose we can afford one island. That's the French, right? Yeah. Same reddish color. I'm amazed at how peaceful the other continent was. Now, insanely interwoven their empires have become. I mean, it's quite a mess. And I do believe it's India that's really gaining, gaining on that one, because they, they, they're going for a culture. So eventually they might just absorb a fair chunk of that interwoven mess. Well... Privateer does. One second. Let's build a frigate for now. But, oh, more trunks for the palace. Um, yeah, let's do the mighty fronts. There we go. Lovely. But yeah, let's have a quick look. The frigate. Compared to uh, the um, privateer. 225, 
being bombarded. Only two, okay. You can attack another civilization shipping without starting a war. Ooh. That could actually be interesting. I might build those just so I can weaken the Byzantines first. You know? Sure, they have less defense, but... Uh... One privateer and then a frigate. And then return to the university. <laughs> I need that. Someday we'll have it. A lot of injured cavalry here. As for these, uh, I'll head back here. I need to clear out these jungles. and all the swamps. Are any of them ready to move? Uh, well, you are. Everyone else has to hang back. Move that stuck into the city. Obviously, we are going to attack the Byzantines as well. But until we have gotten the Newton's University at the very least. I, mean, I think I should probably move my, well, at least four of the cavalries towards that boat. So many units to move. That seems fine. So we're gonna move those four aboard the boat next turn and then we'll set sail here and hopefully th those three will be enough to actually uh, take the city. And uh, that would wipe them out, which would be rather nice. Okay, we'll see if, that, if, see if we can make that happen next time. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.